This is our Nicely Done series, How to Repair a Leak at the Anastomosis During the Nice Procedure. So we're picking up the procedure late in the game. We've already resected the specimen. We put it in our Alexis and we perform the transrectal extraction. This was a patient that had diverticulitis. Now we're removing the Alexis and we're preparing for the anastomosis. We're gonna go ahead and skip basically to doing the colorectal anastomosis. At this point, everything was looking good. We're checking the donuts. Um, in addition to direct visualization, checking the donuts is so important because you see here, this is the rectal part of the donut. I'm gonna have the arrow there. That's where there's just a lot of thick tissue. Now, when there's a lot of thick tissue in the donuts, whether it be the rectum or the proximal colon, I like to over sew pretty routinely about one to two centimeters apart because I just want to engage that thick tissue in case it was too thick for the little staples. It's very important to look at the lateral and the posterior wall. And in this case, you know, I have the assistant grab so we can get a better look and better exposure posteriorly. And when you look closely, it looks pretty good, but then you look right in the middle and there's a defect right there. Probably happened sometime during the dissection and no reason to panic. We over sew pretty much all of the time. So when we see that, we basically just over sew it. You can't really bury that. So we typically just put interrupteds. It is not too uncommon to incidentally find a defect at the anastomosis. That's pretty much why we routinely over sew even after we perform the end to end stapled anastomosis. But in a case like this, it's of utmost importance to identify an over sew. So we put three or four interrupted three ovicral sutures right in the middle and right around on either side of that defect. This is number four. And following this, um, basically that's it. No need to divert, no need to do anything different than you would do. When you repair it like this, it's as good as new. We're doing our air insufflation test, taking special attention to focus on that area where those four sutures were. We see no bubbles, no leaks, and it looks very good. This was a video vignette from our Nicely Done series, how to repair a defect at the anastomosis.